This is where it started. I never planned this. I didn't expect to find her there that day, but I did. She looked beautiful the day I met her. She had me hooked from the start. I never met her before now, but I knew of her. Her name is Lily, and she lives near me. It's nice to see her again. She makes me feel warm. Just the sight of her. But I still find it hard to tell her about my anxiety and my depression. I asked her on a date and she said yes. We agreed to meet in this very spot on Saturday, near the park bench. The date was amazing. She's so funny and witty. I love the way the sunlight bounces off her eyes to make them sparkle. And when she laughs, she gets these cute little dimples in her face. Everything moved 100 miles per hour after that. My life is finally turning around. I was so in love with Lily. And she was with me. Two of the most unlikely people to fall in love. I love you, Lily. I always will. I thought it was strange that she never showed that day. She wasn't meant to miss any sessions. Lily committed suicide. In the letter she explained she was sorry. How she loved me and cherished my presence in her life. She went on to explain that her depression had got too much. And every day became a greater task than the last. The last thing she wrote me was a list of things she wanted me to accomplish for her. Spend time doing what you want to do, not what everyone wants you to do. Always put your mental health first. Continue to attend the therapy sessions. Fall in love again. Hey. Most of all, remember, there is life after death.